worship, we worship, we worship you. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. I can hear you. Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. Alright, we're gonna do some dancing. We're gonna do some dancing. Break it down, break it down, break it down, break it down. Do I have any steppers in the house? Do I have any steppers? Keep going. Yes. Let's go, just like this. Turn. Okay. Do I have any steppers in the house? Come on, come on, come on. Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. He is a good, good God. He is a good, good God. He is a great, great God. He is a great, great God. He is a good, good God. Down, break it down, break it down, break it down. Y'all are doing good. Now we need to add some attitude, all right? Don't just move like a stick. You gotta put some attitude, yeah. Put some attitude to it. Come on, put some attitude. Hey, don't do it. Hey, look at you. Look at you dancing. Hey, uh, uh, uh. He's a good, good guy. 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 He's a great, great guy.
Pichango na vigele gele. Hallelujah. Just give him a praise. He's worth it. Father, we give you glory. We lift you up, O oh God. There is no one else like you, God. You are a way maker. You are a way maker. Thank you for making every way. Thank you for every way that you are going to make in advance. Open your mouth. Just begin to thank you for every way that is going to make in advance. Thank him for every way that is already made in advance. Hallelujah. I give you glory, oh God. There is no one else like you. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, oh God. You are a way maker, oh God. Hallelujah. Somebody worship him the way maker. He's a way maker. He's a way maker. Worship your way maker, oh God. Worship your way maker. Somebody worship the way you make, oh God. Thank you for every way that you made, oh God. And every way that you got to make. Oh, oh, oh. You are here. Moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, walking in this place, oh God, I worship you, I worship you. Anybody here to worship, lift up your hands and say, you are here, moving in our midst, say, moving in our midst, I worship you, I worship you, I worship you.
And lift it up, say, way make a say. Every hand lifted as you declare it. You're a way make a say. Create an atmosphere of worship in this house. Say, way maker. Way maker. Promise keep lights in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Open your mouth, just worship your way maker right here. Open your mouth, just worship the way maker right here. Somebody open your mouth and worship. If he's made a way for you, somebody ought to open up your mouth and worship the way he make. We worship the way he make. We worship the way he make. Thank you for every way that you make. Thank you for every way that you're going to make. Time lift it up. Way make a say. Way make a miracle welcome. Promise keep light of the darkness. My God, that is who you are. One more time, one more time. Way make a say. Way make a miracle welcome. Is the promise keep light in the darkness. My God. Way for you, somebody lift your voice, declare it. Way make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Has He made a way for you? Does the promise keep light in the darkness? My God. That is who you are. Come on, worship him. He's worth it. Worship him. He's here. The promise keep. 
is a light in the darkness. My God, my God, my God. sana jamaa natumpigia makofi pastor obari na team ya worship mahali hapa Mungu awabariki sana atumishe Mungu Amen amen Asante sana basi tukae habarini za jioni Amen haleluya Najua kabisa ya kwamba kila mmoja anajisikia kupata charge kuwa refuel kupata charge unaenuliwa kutoka tu moja utukufu kwenda utukufu mwingine Haleluya. Hatuwezi tukakusanyika namna hii kawa hivi vitu hapana. Bwana apewe sifa. Hiki ni kipindi kingine cha jioni kinaitwa general session, si ndio? Si tu watumishi peke yake isipokuwa na wote ambao unajua sisi watu watumishi katika Bwana. Kwa hiyo <laughs> tunaposema wengine si watumishi, wote ni watumishi ndio? Lakini kuna lugha fulani inaelewa kwamba watu wote wanakaribishwa katika mkutano huu, si ndio? kujisikia kwa mahali pako kabisa katika jioni hii na Bwana alipoanza kutuhudumia ndivyo atakavyoendelea kutuhudumia katika hatua zetu. Tunamshukuru Bwana kwa ajili ya jioni hii, sio? Tunashukurani eh? Hebu basi kwamba tunazoshukurani zimejaa kama una sadaka yako mkuja nayo tafadhali hebu iandae mahali hapo eh, na fikiri uh, dada Lucy. Tumesema kuna bahati kuna chombo cha sadaka pale mbele eh? huko nyuma. Basi uh, kama mkuja na sadaka yako naomba uiandae kutoka kuna bahasha maalum pale. Hebu kwa shukurani kabisa tumtolee Bwana kwamba tunakushukuru kwa jinsi ambavyo unatuwezesha mahali hapa. Kwa jinsi ambavyo umetubariki, si ndio? Kwa moyo wa shukurani kabisa eh, tunambariki Bwana kwa chombo cha sadaka. Tutaweka mahali hapa mbele alafu uh, uh, tuchukue zile bahasha, tuweke sadaka zetu, tutoe kwa ajili ya kumshukuru Bwana. Tumtolee Bwana sadaka, tumshukuru kwa baraka zake. Hatuwezi kulipa uh, baraka za Bwana kama ambavyo tumehudumiwa katika jioni ile kwamba hakuna uh, kitu ambacho uh, akina gharama si ndio eh hata wakovu wetu ni wabure lakini una gharama eh <laughs> petu anawakumbusha anawaambia kumbukeni ya kwamba ninyi hamkunuliwa kwa vitu vinavyoharibika kama dhahabu na fedha isipokuwa ni damu ya mwana kondoo isiyokuwa na mawa. Hiyo ndio thamani. Unajua kuna wakati nafikiri tumbo wakovu ni bure. Wakovu umelipiwa gharama kubwa sana. Kwa hiyo uh, tuna kila sababu ya kumshukuru Bwana kwa ajili hiyo. Naomba na mibahasha mahali hapa mbele. Asante sana. Waymaker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are. Hallelujah. 
Rainmaker. Yeah. Kwa hiyo tu tuwe sadaka zetu tuweke kwenye bahasha tumbariki Bwana. Haleluya. Alafu tukisha kuwa tayari basi tuje au tunangojea wimbo. Nataka wimbo eh? Pastor Pastor uh, Yalako la na nikimbia na Klo Klo Pastor Klo Yeah, Klo. Imagine haya Klo Kveli. Ndio. Hebu jana tupige wimbo, tuipige wimbo moja hapo katika kujitoa sadaka. Asante sana. Watumishi tuweke sadaka zetu kwenye bahasha tuje nazo hapa mbele wakati uh, watumishi wa Bwana wanapiga wimbo hapa. We make a miracle work a promise keep a light in the darkness my god that is who you are Bwana asifiwe sana. E, nimeambiwa kwamba siku hizi tunatembea na zingine tuna hatuna hatuna cash na application, tuna app zile za cash. Kwa hiyo kama unataka kutoa a cash sadaka kwa kutumia cash app. Dada yetu kule nyuma Lucy unaweza ka uh, namba yako rafiki wewe tunaifahamu jamani. Nani anafahamu namba ya Lucy? Na, kama ufahamu ndio kuliko umefikaje hapa? Asi <laughs> tu tufanye cash app kwa kwa Lucy na kama wanataka kutumia zile kadi zetu uh, tutoe sadaka tumbariki Bwana. Haleluya. Bwana apewe sifa. Ndio. Tumeshatoa tayari. We make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a Waitikiaji ni humbo? Aishi. Bwana asifiwe. Bado kuna watu wanaoja kutoa sadaka? Eh, nakuja wimbo kuna wengine wanakuja wimbo hapa. We make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle work. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Bado kuna wengine? That is who you are. Asante sana. Bado kuna mwingine anangojea wimbo? Haleluya. We make a miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a, we make a miracle work, promise keep Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Kama bado kuna mwingine tembo wa wimbo leo. Toa ndugu, toa ndugu ulicho. Okay. Wewe wimbo ulikuwa hata kama ulikuwa unampa kutoa unatoa tu. Kwa sababu unaambiwa Bwana anakuona mpaka moyo, sio? Brother Dennis. Hallelujah. Eh? Toa kabisa bwana kwa mpaka moyoni kwa hiyo hauna ujanja. Lakini sasa hivi tunaimba kwa furaha kabisa tunatoa kwa furaha wewe make a miracle wake up tunambariki bwana. 
Ninakwenda kumuomba uh, tena mchungaji Yohana. Mchungaji Yohana atakuja mahali hapa kujaribu kuombea matoleo haya, alafu atatupeleka moja kwa moja wa kipindi kinachofuatia. Amen. Basi tusimame. Alafu nyosha mkono wako kuelekea matoleo yetu haya. Baba Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru kwa wema wako. Sante kwa nafasi uliyotupa kuja mbele za mbele zako kwa matoleo yetu. Ninakabidhi mikononi mwako nombo ya bariki. Bariki watumishi wako waliotoa. Wafungulie mirango. Nema yako ikawaonekanie. Tunasema asante ni katika jina la Yesu. Wote tuseme amen. Hallelujah. Naomba ni kabla sija hatujamleta mtumishi asanteni mnaweza mkakaa. Kabla sijamleta mtumishi wa Mungu ni mkaribishe mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye ni alikuwa mwenyekiti wa maandalizi yetu mahali hapa atakuja mahali hapa na atawatambulisha wachungaji wa hapa Dallas na tumewapa dakika mbili mbili au tatu kuongea kuhusu kazi zao wanazozifanya mahali hapa wako wapi na watatukaribisha walipo na Naomba ni mkaribishe mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Emi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wasalim katika jina la Bwana Yesu Kristo. Nimefurahi kuona nyeso zenu wote jiona leo na ni baraka kuwa na nyinyi nyote Dallas Texas na wakaribisha kwa jina la Yesu amen Hallelujah This is big Texas so you better get it big Hallelujah Praise the Lord Yes that is life amen Praise the Lord mchungaji ameniambia nije niwakaribishe sasa mnaonekana kidogo mmechukua good rehearsal ya kukaribishwa amen Again, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mungu bishop, apostles, teachers, evangelists, worshipers, leaders, ushers, deacons since the general session and everyone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord in pia ningependa kuwatambulisha wachungaji wanao chunga au wanaotumika katika mji wa Dallas Texas haleluya si waone wengine lakini danza na bishop wetu pastor Absalom Nasua come on bishop pastor a brother haleluya Come on, you can do better. Put your hands together. Yes, kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. Karibu mchungaji. Ah, uh, utuelezee kifupi. Najua karibu ni kila mtu anajua hapa anafanya nini Dallas, lakini since the general assembly kuna watu wengine wanaweza usijue karibu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama Pastor Emi alivyosema, baadhi mnajua ninachokifanya. Mimi ni Pastor Absalom Nasua mchungaji kiongozi wa makanisa ya Umoja International Outreach mako yetu akiwa hapa Dallas lakini tukiwa na vitu vingine vinaendelea sehemu mbalimbali kwa ni mshukuru Mungu kwa wewe ambao umefika mali hapa na napenda nikukaribishe Dallas Amen uh, Pastor Absalom Ah uh, anachunga kanisa liko mbali na hapo ngoja niongezee zaidi kama dakika tano kutoka hapa na ibada zao ni uh, kila Jumapili saa kumi jioni kama utakuwa Dallas siku yote hata 
kesho kutwa au kama upo hapa na una home church uh, basi Dallas uh, umoja international church in Dallas side wako hapo kama dakika tano hivi na ibada zao ni saa kumi jioni na kule Fort Worth wako na branch Simoni Pastor Nico around uh, Pastor Nico Chove anachunga kule Fort Worth na pia ibada zao ni saa kumi jioni kwa hiyo kama uko maeneo ya Fort Worth uh, karibu uko na pia tuko na mtumishi mwingine uh, brother Matthew Mile karibu katika jina la Yesu mtumishi wa Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya mmebarikiwa mpaka sasa Amen nimefurahi kuwaona mimi ninaitwa Matthew Mile ninatumika katika huduma ya umoja chini ya Pastor Absalom Nasua katika eneo la Prison Worship Karibuni sana Dallas. Amen. Amen. Asante sana. Anasema yeye sio mchungaji kwa hiyo ana limit kusema brother Mire lakini he cannot escape is just for a little while. Amen. Uh, napenda pia kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Kiwewe all the way from Fort Worth, Texas. Karibu. Hallelujah. Amen. There is life in this place. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa mafundisho yote na tuna Yes, yes. I'll, I'll start myself right here. Ilo ndo la kwanza. Asante mama. Ilo ndo la kwanza nilikuwa nalifikiria kabla sijafika. <laughs> Mke wangu yuko pale anaitwa Rachel. Na Mungu ametujalia watoto wawili wa kiume tunachunga kanisa linaloitwa uh, Kingdom Life Community Church. Uh, hasa tuna reach out to Uh, Congolese uh, refugees uh, Rwandans Burundians uh, kama vile ambavyo mchungaji um, Kiande ameanza na I've consulted with him before miaka kadhaa kwa simu lakini leo ndio ilikuwa mara ya kwanza kumuona hapa kwa tujaye kukutana uh, kwa hiyo kazi yetu kubwa ni kuweza kuwafanya watu wetu wa Afrika kuwa na kingdom mindset that is the biggest thing we are doing baada ya wokovu to walking the kingdom of God amen kwa hiyo tunamshukuru kwa hiyo Mungu kwa hiyo kazi na pia tunakutana siku ya Jumapili siku ya Mungu uh, ungeona nasema siku ya Mungu mtanisamehe Kiswahili changu nimekaa na wandugu hawa sana nikisema ni mtanzania wanasema no you're lying you're not a Tanzanian <laughs> so um, na nimekuja na rafiki yangu huyu Tia Jasta great musician <laughs> yeah, na ibada zetu ni 1 to 4 pm karibuni sana Fort Worth msishie tu hapa it's just 45 minutes away from here Mungu abariki sana. Oh, thank you sana. Asante sana. Mchungaji Kiole akikwambia is just 45 minutes that's what it is in Texas. It's just 45 minutes. It's too big here. 45 minutes is nothing to us. Amen. Kwa hiyo karibu Mungu akubariki mno. Na samani sikutaka kuwanyanyua mama wachungaji sababu kwingine tunaambiwa mama wachungaji wanawake wakae chini wasiseme kitu. Ndio maana nitaka wachungaji wenyewe waite wake zao kama inaruhusiwa katika mazebu mbalimbali sasa. <laughs> Ndio maana sikutaka kuwasemea labda wanaambiwa wanawake mkae chini msizungumze. <laughs> Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Asante sana pasake wewe. Na uh, mke wa Pastor Matthew alikuwa nyuma kule Brother Matthew kwa api Sister Mage ame step out na mama mchungaji ni kwa naona ametoka mama Absalom lakini wapo around tunashukuru Mungu asante sana mama mchungaji Mungu akubariki na wapenda wa mama wachungaji amen eh hey, na wapenda wa mama wachungaji yani always i cover their backs hallelujah don't mess with the pastor's wives hallelujah and uh, i think that's it for if kuna mchungaji wote Dallas Texas ambao nimekusahau na kama nimekusahau au sijakujua basi uje ripoti kwa mea wa mapastors Dallas hapa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Kuna mchungaji mwingine ambaye tunakuaga naye na Simoni ndani hapa uh, Pastor Benson Msando yeye ameanza kazi hivi karibuni yuko naye maeneo ya Fort Worth. Uh, one shepherd flock we are not is not here this evening. Uh, lakini pia mimi ni again kwa jina mchungaji Emin Twina Mandari na niko hapa Dallas na chunga kanisa kama 10 minutes away from here na nachunga kanisa la House of God's Glory Church uh, ni la mchanganyiko wa kila mtu na ibada zetu ni kuanzia saa 4 asubuhi Jumapili mpaka saa na nusu na Ijumaa jioni kuanzia saa moja mpaka saa tatu jioni kama uko mjini na utakuwaga mjini unakaribishwa na pia kama uko hapa kwenye general meeting wewe sio mchungaji sio wewe ni mshirika na una unapokwenda karibu amen Mungu awabariki sana karibu ni tena Dallas 
Ah, you can do better than that. Hallelujah! Come on, give a crap offering to Jesus. Shout hallelujah! Mungu wabariki. Asante, Pastor Emi. Na thank you for allowing us to use your facility for food. Mm, thank you. Kwa na yesu asifiwe. Kitu cha mwisho kabla tujamleta muhubiri, nataka ni mkaribishe my wife. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ewe wasalimie watu kabla hatujaendelea. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We are so grateful that we have managed to come to Dallas. This is my first time being here and I feel loved. I feel welcomed. I feel good. Amen. Amen. Tunamshukuru Mungu sana kwa ajili yenu watumishi wa Mungu mnatutia moyo so that we are not quitting in what God has called us. Amen. Mungu awabariki. We have as servants of God here in America. Ni muujiza wa ajabu sana. Nilikuwa nasubiria wakati kama huu tuweze kuonyesha muujiza wenyewe. Hallelujah. Mungu ametutendea muujiza wa ajabu sana. Kila mtu akiangalia hivi anajua ni muujiza wa Mungu. Na kwa sababu tunaenda kwenye hii general session ni muda mzuri na wewe kujua ya kuwa yatakao ongelewa hapa Mungu hana upendero kama ameweza kututendea muujiza huu anaweza na nyie akawatendea huo muujiza naomba ni mkaribishe brother Owen Fueta brother Owen Fueta Bwana <laughs> Yesu asifiwe sana. Simama tu hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wale watumishi wa Mungu mnotoka uh, Alabama, Atlanta na wengine walisafiri kutoka hapa kuja kumuona alipopatwa na ajari. Brother Owen alipatwa na ajari kubwa sana, mbaya ile kuwepo kwake hapa ni muujiza wa Mungu. Ni nafasi ambayo Mungu ametutendea kama mwili wa Kristo hapa Marekani. Tusinge kuwa na brother Owen leo hii. Unapomuona Owen hapa ni muujiza unaotembea. Ukiona gari iliyopata ajali na brother Owen, uwezo kaamini mtu anaweza kaishi. Tulipofika pale na mama Owen asubuhi ile tulipofika pale tukaenda tukakuta ni mzima yuko hai alikuwa hajitambui lakini yuko hai baadaye tukaenda eneo la ajari tulipofika kule kwanza walikataa mama na mtoto wasiende kuona hilo gari baadaye mama akasema tutaenda kuliona Ndio akasema usiriguse hilo gari. Kwa sababu hilo gari ni fatal accident. Kwa hiyo liko chini ya uangalizi wa polisi, hakuna mtu anaruhusiwa kuligusa. Lakini tukatia kuongea, baadaye akauliza, "Kwa nini? Huyu jamaa bado yupo?" Au ni first responder ambao alifika pale. Wakauliza, "Bado yupo?" Tukasema, "Ya, yupo." Yule jamaa akasema, "Huyo jamaa kama bado yupo." atakapokuwa ametoka ustari mwambie achukue godoro apeleke kanisani au anakaa huko huko kwa sababu hata wao walikuwa hawaamini kuwa bado huyo jamaa ni mzima mpaka madaktari hawakuamini kama huyo mtumishi wa Mungu atakuwa hapa kwa hiyo ni zawadi ambayo pamoja na maombi yenu najua mlikuwa mnaomba Mlikuwa mnajua kilichokuwa kinaendelea ni zawadi ambao Mungu ametupa kama watumishi wa Mungu Marekani. 
Who has the final say? Tell me who has the final say. Let's go first. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Hallelujah. Sina nikianza kuongea nitachukua muda mrefu sana. Lakini kama mchungaji alivyosema niwashukuru. Ninapenda kutoa shukrani zangu kwa watu wa Mungu. I want to convey my sincere thanks to all God's servants, pastors, bishops, apostles who came to visit me when, while I was in the hospital and those who came to visit me while I, I was discharged and all those who contributed in one way or another to support my family. I remember my wife, she has to quit working from the day I got an accident. And she just started working maybe a month ago. And really, we want to thank you for your prayers, for your support moral support, spiritual support. And uh, I know some people have been praying for me, for sure, who don't know me, who don't know me. But I met some few who say, hey, we've been praying for you. You are the, you're, you're Owen, are you the Owen? You say, yes. So thank you so much. God is so good and God is, is a wonderful and a great miracle working God. Yeah. Amen, amen. And also, I want to thank you, my wife, too, for being with me all this time. And also, I, I know you are so great, you people, but Alabama people, they are so precious. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama people, pastors of Alabama, brethren from Alabama, they've been so much kind to me, visiting me every time while I was at home. Yeah, so I've been helping me tremendously. I cannot explain it. You are so great, God's people. So I want to convey my thanks to you all for what you have done to my life, to my family. We have lacked nothing. We have, no, we have not come behind my, 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 my bill payment. Amen. I remember a week before, like it was Saturday, I, that day, Saturday, before I got an accident on Thursday, come, I mean, next week, like next week, I took two cars for my daughters. I bought two cars for my daughters, so Doreen and Deborah, Saturday. And the following Thursday, I got an accident. But I pray to God, this car will not be possessed. Amen. They have never been possessed. Till now, they are driving. Amen. So God is good God. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mama, can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah.
find your safe. Mungu ametutendea maajabu Alabama. Hallelujah. There was another sister. She was in the hospital. I don't know about four weeks. In a coma. The doctors said she will never get out of hospital. But right now she's in her house. Jehovah has the final say. Yeah, it doesn't matter who has said what. If God has not said so, you will continue being here until the last minutes. Hallelujah. Brother Abihudi, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Johanna. Jamani wapendwa, mmebarikiwa mpaka sasa, mnafuraha mpaka sasa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Labda tu ni mwambie jirani yako kaa mkao wa kupaa. Sasa mtu anauliza tunapaa tunaenda wapi? Utajua mwenyewe, lakini Nichukue nafasi hii kumkaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu Bishop Jona Obonyo Nimekutana naye mwaka jana Mwaka jana nilirudi Tanzania msiba wa mama ulitokea nikaenda kwenye msiba tukamaliza msiba bishop wangu akaniita akaniambia bwana njoo Arusha haraka nilikuwa sina mpango wa kwenda Arusha lakini nikaenda Arusha nikao moja wa wazungumzaji kanisa la mahali pamoja walikuwa wanafanya jubilee ya miaka 25 lakini nikakutana na mtumishi wa Mungu bishop Obonyo na nikamsikiliza anavyoongea ni wale watu ambao sio kwamba wana jumbe tu na kichwa cha ujumbe ila wanafuatilia maandiko yanavyosema alafu anakupa ufafanuzi wa maandiko nao nika amemaliza nikao naongea naye nikamwambia inabidi uje Chicago Mazoni mwangu nilikuwa nafikiri labda miaka miwili mitatu minne kwa sababu tuna establish kazi Chicago. Yaani kumbe ikatokea haraka kuliko vile nilivyotegemea. Tulipokaa na kamati pamoja na, na uongozi nikalitaja jina lake wakasema sawa kabisa. Alafu wakaenda kwenye mitandao kwenye YouTube wakaangalia meseji zake wakasema tunamkubali <laughs> Bwana Yesu asiwe sana ili rahishisha kazi ndio jamani eh lakini ni mtumishi mwenye uzoefu mkubwa na kwa miaka mingi amekuwa katika huduma kwa jinsi ya uh, alivyotueleza miaka zaidi karibu miaka 30 amekuwa katika huduma lakini pia yeye ni mke mme wa mke moja na watoto wawili um, na alafu pia ni mwandishi wa vitabu na pia ni founder wa kanisa ambalo linaitwa Cathedral Praise Ministry International ambao makao yake makuu anaita Imara Daima Nairobi is that correct haleluya bwana yesu asiye sana ana makanisa sehemu mbalimbali ana makanisa Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda na pia ni muombaji. Ai. Hiyo combination jamani alafu ni askofu ana huduma ya kitume kwa jinsi ambavyo naelewa. Uwezo kuanzisha makanisa kama hiyo upako unakuwa kidogo haupo lakini unakuwepo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. 
Kwa jamani nichukue nafasi kumkaribisha. You are, well, you are so welcome Bishop Obonyo. And God bless you so much. Karibu. Thank you very much. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Jamani hiyo amen inafaa kuwa yenye nguvu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Napenda kuchukua nafasi hii uh, kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya kunipa nafasi ya kufika huku Dallas. Mara yangu ya kwanza kufika Dallas. Bwana asifiwe sana. Uh, nimefika sehemu zingine katika Marekani uh, ila upande huu nimekuwa napitia tu kwenye airport hata sitoki nje. Lakini kipindi hichi Mungu ameona ni vyema kupitia kwa mtumishi wa Mungu na president nifike hapa. Jameni nina furaha moyoni mwangu. Amen. Amen. Salamu nyingi kutoka Nairobi Kenya kama jinsi alivyosema ni mume wa mke mmoja wa kike. <laughs> Amen. Na kunao wanaoinifahamu hapa kama mzee uh, mzee na mke wake hebu wasimame tu amen hao wananifahamu tangia wakati nilipooa walikuwa natembea kwangu nyumbani kipindi hicho sidhani kama tulikuwa na watoto hatukuwa na watoto amen na sasa binti wetu wa kwanza na miaka 27 hao uh, wazee tumekuwa na wao tunashukuru Mungu sana kuwaona pia kwa muda mrefu hatujaonana Mungu awabariki sana Amen. Mara nyingi huwa tuna sisi wa Kenya tunaogopea sana kuzungumza Kiswahili mbele ya Watanzania. Kwa sababu tutataja jambo ambalo labda ni matusi kwako mwenyewe. <laughs> Lakini nitajaribu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana atukuzwe. Watumishi wa Mungu Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Uh, kwa kweli kabisa Sikuwa na mpango wa kuja Marekani e, hivi karibuni. Nimechukua miaka karibu mitatu tangu nije. Mara ya mwisho karibu miaka mitatu iliyopita. E, kwa hiyo wamenialikaalika lakini sijapata nafasi. Um, lakini kwa kipindi hichi nimefika huku. Nashukuru sana. Najua kwamba ni mpango wa Mungu kwangu kufika hapa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Ebu fungua nami kitabu cha mwanzo nitazungumza kwa ufupi tu mwanzo mlango wa nne. mwanzo mlango wa nne. kuanzia mstari ule wa kwanza Mwanzo mlango wa nne kuanzia mstari ule wa kwanza Amen Acha nisome tu mstari mstari mmoja tu mengine tutaelezana mwanzo mlango wa nne na mstari 13 13 naye kaini akasema kwa bwana hukumu yangu ni ngumu sana siwezi sio kama ndio tafsiri natumia Kiswahili Naye Kaini akasema kwa Bwana Hukumu yangu ni ngumu sana wala siwezi Kwa sababu you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground I shall be hidden from your face I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. 
And it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. Ah, okay. Praise God. And I read now in English. And Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Surely you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth. And it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Praise God. Amen. Let's turn to um, Psalms 46. Psalms 46 and verse 4. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. Glory to God. We go again to another scripture in the book of Isaiah 44. Isaiah 44 and verse number 3. Isaiah 44 and verse number 3. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 44 and verse number 3, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and streams upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. And they shall spring up among the grass as willows by the water courses. Say amen. Amen. I want to speak to us this night as we have come on a very powerful theme for this year and compromise growth. And I want to speak to us this night on growth, opening up the streams of the heavenly waters. Say amen. amen. Father, we thank you and we bless you once again tonight. We give you glory and praise for bringing us together in such a manner. Jehovah, you have an agenda with us. You have an agenda with us in this great and awesome nation. You have an agenda with your children, oh God, concerning their future and destinies. Lord, I pray that even as I stand before your children, master, let the word of life come forth, oh God. Speak to each and every one of us. May you break any altar, any spiritual power, any force that is opposed to the wisdom and the knowledge of God and cause us, oh my Father, to begin to manifest growth in our lives. I give you thanks, almighty God, for this platform that you have put in the heart of your servant that he can create this platform for us and for all of us that have come from one part of this world. God, I pray, minister to us. Use me, Lord, for the few minutes I have in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Say amen to the Lord. Amen. 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 I want to speak about opening up the streams. Ama kufungulia mifereji ya baraka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na nahisi katika moyo wangu ya kwamba kipindi hichi Mungu ametuleta hapa ametuleta ili kusudi mifereji ya baraka zifunguliwe. Chochote ambacho hakikuwa kinafanya kazi kitaanza kufanya kazi. Chochote ambacho shetani alikuwa ameshikilia 
ili kusudi usifurahie mema ya Mungu itafunguliwa. Mungu wetu ni Mungu wa ahadi. Na ahadi zake ni ndio na amina. Ahadi zake hazipungukiwi, hazipungukii mtu wa Mungu. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Kwa hiyo ninajaribu kutazama katika maandiko kwamba Mungu mpango wake kwa kila mwanadamu ni growth. Mpango wa Mungu nirudie tena. Mpango wa Mungu kwa kila mwanadamu ni growth. Hata wewe unayenisikiliza, mpango wa Mungu kukuhusu ni growth. Na ku grow uta grow. Sema amen. amen. Kila kitu ambacho Mungu alikiumba duniani, alikiumba na mpangilio wa growth. Sema amen. amen. Growth maana yake ni kuadvance. Kutoka sehemu moja kwenda sehemu nyingine ya pili. Growth maana yake ni kwenda katika sehemu ambayo ni kuu kuliko mahali ulipo. Uh, sema amen. amen. Hebu nisaidie mwambie jirani yako kuna sehemu ya juu kuliko mahali ulipo. Amen. Growth maana yake ni kuwa better than where you are. Growth maana yake ni ku reproduce your kind and your kind becomes more than yourself. I prophesy that you will become more than yourself. You will you will occupy this nation. Say amen to Jesus. You'll be in every state of this nation. Mm. Say amen to the Lord. Mungu mpango wa Mungu ni growth kwa kila mtu, kwa kila kitu. Ukipanda mti unatarajia itakuwa. Na ikishakuwa itazaa matunda. Matunda yale yana mbegu. Na mbegu yake yatazaa pia. Kwa hiyo inastahili ku grow. Sema amina. Amen. Watoto ukizaa mtoto unatarajia yule mtoto asibaki kwa mtoto milele. Lazima ata grow. Awe pia na nyumba ya kwake. Awe pia na watoto wake. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Ukianza biashara unaianza kwa udogo wake. Lakini kuna mpango wa ile biashara ku grow. Ukianzisha uki kanisa ama huduma unaianzisha kwa njia ya kipekee ama njia ndogo sana lakini mpango wa Mungu ni ile kanisa i grow mm. Nami natangaza hivi ya kwamba growth ni lazima uta grow upenda usipende mradi umefika kwenye kongamano hili lazima uta grow Say amen to the Lord. Hata muamini believer ambaye ameokoka, unaokoka kwenye kiwango fulani na kufahamu kwa kiwango fulani. Lakini matarajio ya mbingu kukuhusu ni kwamba usibaki pale pale. Uanze ku grow. Mwaka huu tunakupata kwenye kidato fulani ama darasa fulani. Mwaka ujao tunakuja unapata umepandilia kidogo, umepanda kidogo. Mwaka mwingine tunakupata unapaa. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Sema amen. Ambia mwenzako uta grow. In the name of Jesus. Say amen to the Lord. Katika vipengele vingi lazima u grow. Ni kwa mtoto ni kakua mtu mzima. Nilikuwa na upako wa kuanza anza huduma. Upako naona unazidi. Nilikuwa na hekima kiasi fulani, lakini baada ya miaka naona hekima inazidi. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Lazima u grow katika grace. Lazima u grow katika knowledge. Lazima u grow ndani ya wokovu. Lazima u grow katika upendo. Lazima u grow katika eneo zote za maisha. Nami natangaza kwamba growth lazima Sema amen kwa Yesu Kristo. Sema amen kwa Yesu Kristo. Hebu geukie watu watatu waambie kufikia mwaka ujao utakuwa bora kuliko ulivyo sasa. Utakuwa bora kuliko ulivyo. Shetani ni muongo. Na hana chake mahali hapa. Wewe na simba uta grow katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Uta grow katika revelations. Uta grow katika kumfahamu Mungu. Uta grow katika maombi. Uta grow katika maisha yote katika jina la Yesu. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Shangilia Bwana kwa makofi na vigelegele. Hallelujah. Sitabaki vile nilivyo. Hautanipata vile umenipata sasa. Kufikia mwaka ujao nitaenda kwenye vilindi vya ndani. Nitavielewa zaidi. Sema amen kwa Yesu. 
Sasa nisikilize. Nataka kuzungumzia mtu mmoja ambaye pia alikuwa amezaliwa ni mzaliwa wa kwanza. Mzaliwa wa kwanza wa Adam. Ndiye grandchild wa kwanza wa Mungu. Hakuwa na babu. Hakuwa na babu. Babu wake alikuwa ni Mungu. Kwa hiyo ukitazama uone kile ambacho Mungu alikuwa nayo kwenye mawazo yake alipoangamia Adam ya kwamba uta grow na ujaze inchi yote ilitegemea huyu mtu mmoja aitwaye Kaini Jina la Bwana alibarikiwe sana Sasa tazama kabla tujaenda katika story ya Kaini tuone vile ambavyo alijaribu ku grow ikashindikana maana mifereji yote ilikwenda kafungwa maana shetani tunaye pigana naye sio mjinga sio mjinga et sema amen. amen anafanya kazi kwa kupanga anafanya kazi kwa mifereji hakuja tu kufunga ovyo ovyo anafunga mifereji ambayo Mungu aliweka kwamba ndio mifereji ya baraka ambazo maji ya uzima mtiririko wa maji ya Mungu inatiririkia pale ili kusudi maisha yako ibarikiwe kuna mifereji nne ambavyo ndio inatumika kubariki maisha ya mtu wa Mungu mifereji nne kwa maisha ya kila mtu uje Marekani uje Afrika uende kila mahali mifereji minne ambayo ndiyo inatumika kupitilizia maji ya uzima huu mfereji wa kwanza ni uhusiano na Mungu sema amen kwa Yesu angalia mwenzako muulize uhusiano wako na Mungu ukoje huo ndio mfereji wa kwanza shetani ujaribu juu chini Usiku na mchana ajaribu afunge huo mfereji maji yasipite pale maana kama uhusiano wako na Mungu umekatika basi hakuna vile ambavyo Mungu anaweza kupitilizia baraka zake uhusiano na Mungu sema amen, amen. mfereji wa pili ni familia ya kwako kupitia kwa uzao wako mke wako watoto wako ha, hiyo ndi mfereji wa pili maana akikubariki hakubariki peke yako anakubariki na vizazi vyako akifanya jambo maishani mwako haifanyi tu kwa sababu ya muda wako anaifanya hata kwa watoto wa watoto wa watoto wako kwenye eneo hiyo yote inabarikiwa sema amen kama kuna mfereji wa kijamii iliyofungwa inafunguka hapa. Nasema inafunguka hapa. Kwenye kongamano hii inafunguka. Growth yako lazima ije. Ah, jameni sio kama unanielewa. Jameni unanielewa lakini. Hebu ambie mwenzako jameni elewa jambo hili. Kitaeleweka tu. Kitaeleweka tu. Mfereji wa tatu. Ni mfereji wa karakta tabia maana tabia kama mbovu baraka hazipiti sema amen amen ndio maana unapata mtu wa Mungu anangangana kwenye mifereji hivi vyote uhusiano na Mungu jamii ndoa na watoto karakta yake sema amen mfereji wa nne ni mfereji wa resources ama kazi za mikono. Kazi za mikono. Sema amen. Hebu tazama mwenzako mwambie mngengano wako katika eneo yote ya maisha ni wapi na wapi? Utapata ni vitu vinne. Kazi za mikono yako. Mungu anasema tabariki. Kazi za mikono yako. 
na kama mfereji wa kazi za mikono yako imefinyika ama imefungwa natabiri leo hii kama mtumishi wa Mungu ya kwamba Marekani bado haija kushikia na itakusikia kumfikia leo hata mwaka ujao tutakaporejea tena kwenye kongamano utarejea na ushuhuda ya kwamba Mungu anaweza sema amen kwa Yesu utarejea kwamba Mungu anaweza utasema ni Mungu Mifereji mingapi? Ya kwanza Ya pili Ya tatu Ya nne Kazi za mikono yako Nyosha mikono yote miwili sema baba Nikumbuke Katika eneo hizi zote Katika jina la yesu Amen Tuangalia katika mandiku Mtu huyu wa kwanza ambaye shetani ali alipiga vita ili kusudi aharibu mpango wa Mungu kwa ajili ya Adam na vizazi vyote ambavyo vinakuja jina lake ni Kaini Maandiko yanasema ya kwamba nataka tuangalie hapo katika mlango wa kwanza maandiko yanasema now Adam knew Eve his wife and she conceived and bore Cain Adam mara ya kwanza kupatana na mke wake wakapata kifungua mimba wa kwanza katika eh creation amen unanisaidia hapo nda mix mix tu nikitaja jambo ambalo Kiswahili akieleweki basi unanielewa tu una fix ya kwako hiyo. Unaacha ya Kenya, fix ya kwako hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kaini alikuwa ndiye ndiye muzao wa kwanza. Wa kwanza kabisa katika uumbaji mzima. Na kwa sababu mzao wa kwanza ukitazama kwenye maandiko utapata uzao wa kwanza inakuwa na shida vita ambavyo havieleweki kwa sababu ndiye nguvu na nguzo ya mzazi ndiye anayempa mzazi jina ndiye anayebeba nguvu na excellence ya mzazi wake shetani akaamua kumpiga vita akaangalia sehemu nne peke yake katika maisha ya kaini akafunga zile mifereji akahakikisha kaini hakuna mfereji wa maji ya mbingu itakayoingia kwako oh jameni mifereji ikifungika maisha inakuwa ngumu mifereji ikifungika haijalishi ni nani aliyekubeba mifereji ikifungika haijalishi ni nani anayekuwa mbea Mifereji ikifungika haijalishi uko nchi gani kama mfereji umefungika umefungika lazima urejee katika sehemu ambayo kuna funguo ya kuzifungua zile fereji sema amen kwa Yesu na funguo ya kufungua fereji ni madhabahu ya Bwana hapa katika mkutano huu kuna funguo na funguo hiyo ni upako wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu anakwenda kufungua mifereji yote Sema amen kwa Yesu. Ninayo uhakika katika moyo wangu ya kwamba fikia mwaka ujao. Ah, hata mwaka ujao ni mbali. Kuna wengine hapa miezi mitatu peke yake. Utaona na macho yako yale ambayo Mungu ameahidi katika maisha yako. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Sasa sikiliza. Adui akaanza mbinu ya kufunga mifereji ya ujamaa. Aliachana na, na Adam Unajiuliza mbona hakufuatilia fuatilia Adam ni kwa sababu Adam amaliza yake. Yeye yeah, shetani hufuata mbegu. Ili kusudi aifungie. Akishafungia mbegu basi wewe unakuacha pale unapiga domo. Lakini mbegu tayari yamekausha. Ya kwako hata kausha. Nasema ya kwako hata kausha. Hata na kazi za mikono yako haitakauka. Yale yote ambayo umebeba kama maono hayatakauka. Mungu atahakikisha kwamba umefikiriza mahali ambapo maono yako yanaona. Sema amen kwa Yesu. 
Maandiko yanasema hivi. Najaribu kwenda haraka. Maandiko yanasema hivi. Then she bore Cain and said I have received I have received and bore, I have acquired a man from the Lord. Then she bore again this time his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering. But he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry and his countenance fell. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not well, sin lieth at the door. And this, its desire is for you, but you should rule over it. Bible says, now Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field. That Cain rose up against Abel his brother. And killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. So now you are cast from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. A fugitive and a vagabond, you shall be on the earth. Uh -huh. Then Cain spoke in verse 13. Let's not go to verse 13. Let's look at how the enemy manipulated the situation and blocked the, the, the streams of life that leads to Cain's growth. Cain was created to grow. Cain was created to prosper. Cain was created to carry his father's name to regions beyond. Cain was created to bring glory and honor to the Lord. But the enemy strategically started attacking Cain. And so the first attack that he attacked Cain was to block the first stream which is huh? relationship with God. Cain did not develop a relationship with God. He was a man of his own making. He was a man who depended on his own self. He blocked God from his life. That's why when he was coming to give his offering, he was not connected with God. He was coming with his own mindset. Ladies and gentlemen, our relationship with God affects our communication with him. Our relationship with God affects our giving to him. Our relationship with God affects our worship. When your relationship with God is spoiled, you cannot talk to him. When your relationship with God is spoiled, you cannot worship him. You'll be talking to him instead of talking with him. Wakati usiano wako na mtu imeharibika. Hata vile mnavyozungumza ni uvu ni ni vurugu tu. Unamwangalisha vile ambavyo unapenda tu mwenyewe. Hata mwenyewe akiwa na jambo nzuri anataka kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Marekani itaelewa ya kwamba umeitwa na Mungu aliye hai. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Rasilimali na kila kitu ambacho kinastahili kuwa kwako, ilio na majina yako kamili, yatapata upenyo ya kufikirie katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Kaini uhusiano wake na Mungu ukakatika. Shetani akapiga makofi. Akajua hapo nimempata. Point one imeingia. 
akaingia kwa nyingine akaingia kwenye character ya king character ni roho inayotawala ndani ambayo inakuelekeza jinsi ambavyo unastahili kufanya kazi Kaini akawa na chuki na wivu Kaini akawa na uchungu wa moyo Kaini akawa ni mtu wa upweke peke yake anafanya mambo yake tu kivyake hataki kujihusisha na wengine Wapendwa Mungu anataka ugro Anataka ugro katika njia ya kipekee Nataka usikie ujumbe huu Uiweke mahali pa salama kwenye moyo wako Ujumbe ufanye kazi katika maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Kufikia mwaka ujao saa kama hizi. Kwenye kongamano ijayo. Hautakuwa vile ulivyo. Sema amen. Hautakuwa vile ulivyo. Can you can develop character ambayo ni mbaya mno na hiyo character ikashikana na maana ya jina lake maana jina lake limaanisha mkuki kain maana yake ni mkuki wali prophesy juu yake kwamba atakuwa wa kuangamiza sikiliza mtu wa Mungu jioni ya leo nataka tu tuelewane nazungumza tu kwa ufupi katika jina la Yesu kwa kile ambacho Mungu ameweka moyoni mwangu growth uta grow uta grow sema amen ya nguvu sema amen ya kueleweka mwambie mwenzako uta grow character yake ikaharibika Mungu akaiona akaiona akamwambia Kaini nini kinachoendelea naona kitu maishani mwako ambacho usikielewi nini hichi ninachokiona? Unajua mbona uso wako ume umekunja maana na moyo wako naiona Mungu akatazama akaona huyu kijana japo ni mzao wa kwanza anakwenda kuharibu hesabu katika maisha ya Adam anakwenda kuharibu hesabu Mkona mtu ambaye anaweza kuwa kwenye laini ya baraka lakini akajiharibia hesabu haitakuwa kwako wewe utabarikiwa wapende wasipende utainuliwa wapende wasipende sema amen sema amen akaona character ya huyu kijana imeharibika na sababu character ndio channel ya kuleta baraka katika maisha ah akasema jamani nitafanya nini jamaa kawa mgumu kuelewa Mungu anamuuliza hivi yeye anajibu hivi akamuliza swali rahisi Kaini wapi ndugu yako akamjibu Mungu wanionaje mimi kwani nimefanyika watchman <laughs> am i my brother's keeper sio ndio swali kwani umeniona nini yani ujeuri ume, umefikia kiasi ambacho hata Mungu hana maana. Anamuuliza maswali yale ambayo unastahili kuuliza mdogo wako. Kama uliza Mungu, unanionyae, unanionaje mimi? Am I my brother's keeper? Mungu akajua hapa character imeenda. Maana character ikiharibika ya mtu, haijalishi ni nani ameshimama mbele zake karakta ikiharibika ya mtu atamdharau na mchungaji atadharau mama mchungaji atadharau yeyote ambaye anastahili kuzungumza baraka kwake Mungu atusaidie katika Marekani ya kwamba tusifikie mahali hapo tuwe wenyenyekevu mbele za Mungu tumuone Mungu katika maisha yetu ili kusudi maisha yetu ya growth ianze kuonekana sema amen kwa Yesu kijana akaharibika aliharibikia wapi kwenye shamba la unono alibarikiwa akawa hakuna wa kukompiti na yeye yeye ndiye alikuwa eh, 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 a heritor 
inheritor of the whole earth. Na karibika. Siji kama unaweza kupata mtu hako katika baraka lakini haelewi. Haelewi ana baraka. Ako mbele za mchungaji aliyena upako mwingi, aliyena mawazo mema kumhusu lakini anaharibu tu. Kwa sababu ya character. Sema amen. amen. Kuna ndugu mmoja alikuwa ame teleza kidogo akawa anaishi maisha yasiyofaa Mama yake mzazi akanipigia simu akaniambia mchungaji nataka uzungumze na kijana wangu Kasema yuko wapi Yuko hapo kwake Kasema sawa Tukapanga panga tukaenda Nikamwambia ndugu yangu unaniuliza hivyo kwa nini Akasema ah kilichokuleta Umemaliza Nikasema ndio nimemaliza ni sawa. Sawa. Kwa heri, nimekusikia. Kaondoka, kapiga gari moto nikaondoka nikaenda zangu. Kaambia mama, nimefanya ya kwangu. Nimemwachia Mungu. Amefika mahali. Ah, moyo wake umeinuka. Anasikia ako <laughs> na, na nguvu sana. Haikumaliza miezi mitatu. Simu yangu inalia. Na sio mama ananipigia, ni yeye anapiga. Nikaangalia nikashindwa. Ni nini? Anatakaje huyu? Nikampa mwenzangu. Kaniambia anataka uende umwombee. Ako wapi? Hospitali. Nasimaanishi kwamba wote walio hospitalini wamefanya makosa. Ah ah. Simbanishi hivyo. Ya kwake ilikuwa ni hiyo. Nilipofika hospitalini jamaa hazungumzi maumivu mwili mzima. Anasema mchungaji niombe. Oh niombe. Mwili wote unawaka moto. Nikasema nilikuwa nazungumza na wewe remote tu ndio uko nayo. Oh sawa sawa niombe baba. Paka sasa nimekuwa baba. character inaweza ka push mtu out of the will of god na ikafunga mifereji ya baraka na ndio imefanya kazi katika siku za mwisho kuna watu wengi wako katika baraka wamekaa katika baraka lakini baraka hizo hazihawazioni wema wa mungu umedhihirika kwao lakini hawaoni tukaomba na yeye baadaye alipona kaja kanisani kutoa ushuhuda kaambia watu tafadhali sikilizeni neno la Mungu yeye ndiye amekuwa mhubiri sasa jina la bwana libarikiwe sana mwangalie mwenzako mwambie character ichunge hiyo character na haswa sana ukipata hela hela zikianza kuingia basi character inaanza ku kujidhihirisha Kaini karakta yake kaharibika hata mbele za Mungu Mfereji ule ukafungika Halafu jambo la tatu ambalo ni familia Wakati Mungu aliona huyo mtu ameshaharibika na ameondoka katika wema wa Mungu Mfereji ule watatu ukakwenda ukafungwa. Na hiyo ni mfereji wa jamii. Mungu akasema tangu leo utakuwa vagabond. Utakuwa mtu wa kutanga tanga asiye na makao. Ah. Sema haleluya. Utakuwa ni mtu ambaye haeleweki. A fugitive and a vagabond. Those two combined together means that you cannot own land. You cannot build. 
You cannot marry. You cannot have an identity. You are seen today, tomorrow you are not. You keep moving, looking for greener pastures everywhere until your years are over. Vagabond and a fugitive. Mungu akamwambia Kaini, tangu leo kuna laana juu yako. Tangu leo hautakuwa na makao. Maana yake hata kuoa hutaoa. Maana fugitive na vagabond ni watu ambao ma, ma, maisha yao yameharibika. Roho ambayo inatembea juu ya watu wengi siku leo kuziba ile channel ya blessings ni families watu wanangangana na kijamii ah sema amen, amen. jamii haikai sawa sawa kama sio mke ni watoto kama sio watoto ni we mwenyewe mambo hayaeleweki hiyo ni channel ambayo Mungu anataka kutumia aingize baraka katika maisha yako Nami na nashukuru Mungu kwamba simjui mtu yeyote hapa ila 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 uh, president na mwenye amenialika. <laughs> Kwa hiyo nina uhuru wa kuzungumza kile Mungu anasema. Amen. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mtazame mwenzako mwambie yote itakamilika leo. Amen. Yote itakamilika. Yote itakamilika katika kongamano ya mwaka huu 2018 hautarudi kwenye state yako vile ulivyokuja kuna mambo lazima Mungu alainishe hata kama kimeharibika hata kama kimeumana niko hapa hapa pamoja na watumishi wa Mungu upako ulioko hapa italainisha kila kitu kila kitu itakuwa sawa sawa jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana sema amen kwa Yesu kupitia kwa uzao wako hapo ndipo baraka zinamiminika. Kupitia kwa watoto wako, nyumba yako, hapo ndipo baraka zinamiminika. Mungu akamwambia Kaini, haitakuwepo. Utakuwa vagabond, fugitive. Vagabond mtu ambaye anatoroka hukumu. Fugitive ni mtu wa kumangamanga, kutanga tanga. Bila sababu. Anakimbia kila mahali bila sababu yote. Chaneli yake ya baraka imefungwa. Ah. Nilipokuwa naomba Mungu akanifunulia kwamba mifereji yote ya maji ambayo imeelekea maisha yako kama mtu wa Mungu, yote yaliyozibwa na mashetani, yaliyozibwa na mapepo, yaliyozibwa na kila aina ya roho itafunguka katika jina la Yesu. Kuanzia sasa utaanza kuinuka, utaanza kuonyesha dalili ya afya, dalili ya uzima katika jina la Yesu. Kama unaamini sema amen ya nguvu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Maisha yako haitarudi chini, itaanza kuinuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. vagabond mfereji ukafungwa akajipata hivyo Ay. naona kaini akitembea kwenye shamba anashangaa baba yuko wapi babu yuko wapi nimebaki peke yangu maana ameisha uwa ndugu yake maisha imemgeuka mambo hayaendi anaomba aweze ku grow kimaisha lakini growth yake haionekani shida sio shamba shida ni yeye sema amen, amen. shida sio marekani shida ni wewe amen. shida sio kanisa unaloabudu shida iko kwako amen ije isije nitasema tu Shida sio mwalimu. Shida ni mwanafunzi. Mwalimu alifundishwa jinsi ya kufundisha, anajaribu alewezavyo. Mte mje mto huu kitiririka. Maji ni ya uzima. Sema amen. Amen. kuona mto ukitiririka kule vijijini, mto ukitiririka, mto hauna shida. Shida ni mwenye kuteka maji. Unakuja na chombo gani? Unakuja huji. Umeweka pipe hujaweka. Shida sio maji. 
maji yanateremka kuna wengine wanachota maji na madebe kuna wengine wanakuja na vikombe kuna wengine wanaweka pipe kuna wengine wanatazama tu kuna wengine wanakuja wanaogelea wanakwenda kuna wengine wanachota na mkono wanakunywa kidogo wanakwenda wewe yako unafanya nini kuna maji ya uzima maji ya Kristo inayoteremka inafanya mji uwe ni mji wa afya mji wenye nguvu sema haleluya kwa Yesu heka rabo Shanta yama he can't rub in the name of Jesus maji anatirika maji ya uzima maji ya Kristo eh hey. shida sio maji shida sio mchungaji shida sio infrastructure ha huh. najua kuna watu wengi unasikia anasema oh mchungaji Unajua tangu niingie hiyo kanisa sibarikiwi. Maisha yangu inaenda hivi. Ah ah, shida sio mchungaji, wala sio hilo kanisa. Ni wewe. Maji yale ni ya afya. Lakini pipe imefungwa. Kinachohitajika ni kutoboa type, pipe na kutoa matope. Toa nini? Sema amen. Ah ah, ambia watu wanne toa matope Ah Kuna mahali pipe imepasuka kule nje Mifereji unafungua lakini haiji Kumbe kule nje kuna mahali lori ilikanyaga ikapasua na pipe sasa wewe unangangana unasema hawa watu wa kampuni ya maji hawa hawa watu wa kampuni ya maji hawa wananionea haya ni pipe Sema amen. amen. Wanga hapo nasema mchungaji, pipe yangu ifunguke. Zote nne zote. Zote. Wa. Wow. Sikiliza. Pipe ya nne ni ya nne. Ya kazi ya mikono yake. Ikaharibiwa. Mungu akasema katika maandiko hayo hayo. Akasema nasikia sauti ya damu ya nduguyo inalia kutoka kwa udongo inanililia mimi ili kusudi vita vianze na wewe na pia ardhi imefungua kinywa chake kudai damu iliyomwagika pale maana yake ardhi imefanya uadui na wewe Arthi inasimamia mahali pa kazi yako. Kazi ya mikono yako. Ah, sema amen. Amen. Halafu Mungu akasema na ardhi hii haitakupa sawa sawa na nguvu zake. Yaani it will not yield to you its strength. Which means utalima wala hutavuna uta sweat kuliko vile navyo sweat lakini mapato madogo utangenganda kimaisha lakini kimaisha hakuna kitu kinaonekana kurudi kwako kaini akasikiliza akajua sasa hata kazi za mikono yangu haitabarikiwa ndio hapo unapata mtu ananunua shamba inangenganiwa anafanya transaction zote baada ya kumaliza transaction kuna mtu mwingine ama wawili wanatokea wana vieti wanasema ndugu yangu umegongwa na unagongwa na uerevu wako wote unagongwa pamoja na elimu unagongwa pamoja na research zote ulizofanya wafungua wa biashara badala ya kukubariki biashara yenyewe inakupeleka kotini unaanzisha kazi badala ya kupata raha kwenye kazi ile blood pressure ndio hiyo raha hiyo kazi nakupatia haitakuwa kwako nasema haitakuwa kwako kama unanisikiliza vizuri natangaza na ninatabiri haitakuwa kwako 
kwenye kongamano hii growth yako inaanza katika jina la Yesu Kristo sema amen kwa Yesu natangaza growth katika biashara natangaza growth katika kazi ya mikono yako natangaza growth katika huduma yako natangaza growth katika kila eneo ya maisha katika jina la Yesu kama unapokea sema napokea katika jina la Yesu ikaya mashanda Maisha yake kaanza kwenda chini. Arthi imemkataa. Jamii inatoroka. Character imeharibika. Uhusiano na Mungu imeharibika. Mifereji yote imefungika. Kisha baadaye nasikia Mungu anasema kuna vita vinakuja. Nataka usikilize hivi. Kaini alijiundia madhabahu kinyume cha maisha yake mwenyewe kwa kazi zake. Ile damu iliyomwagika pale ye mwenyewe ndiye aliunda madhabahu yale. Kama kuna madhabahu ambayo unapigana navyo ni madhabahu ya damu maana shetani pia anajua vita. Na vita vikubwa vya shetani ni vita vya damu. Ukienda kwa mganga ni damu. Mchawi mdamu, damu. Mrogi ni damu yeyote ambaye anafanya kafara damu wanakwenda kwenye damu maana damu ndio ina sauti kaini akainua damu ya ndugu yake ikaanza kupigana naye hiyo ni madhabahu kwenye kongamano hii madhabahu yoyote iliyoinuliwa madhabahu yoyote inayozungumza tunainyamazisha katika jina la Yesu hakuna madhabahu itakayotawala maisha yako hakuna madhabahu itakayotawala jamii yako hakuna madhabahu itakayotawala hata kanisa lako hakuna madhabahu itakayokufuata marekani katika jina la Yesu kama unanisikiliza hebu pokea ujumbe huu hakuna madhabahu itakayokufuata marekani yote yatazuia iliwa na damu ya Yesu Kristo sema amen kwa Yesu he karabusha kaini akawa na vita vikali vya ile madhabahu ikainuka alipoangalia hivi akasema ah mifereji yangu yote imefungika lazima nifanye kitu ili mifereji ifunguke lazima nifanye kitu mifereji ifunguke ndakuja kuwaeleza hapo tukimalizia Kaini akaenda kwenye madhabahu ya Bwana. Akapiga magoti mbele za Mungu. Akalia akasema baba, nimeinua madhabahu haya ili kusudi nitengeneze mambo ya, mambo yangu. Maisha yangu yamekwama. Nimechoka na mambo haya. Hii imezidi. Siwezi kuibeba zaidi ya hapa. Sema amen. amen. Siwezi kuibeba zaidi ya hapa. Hebu nikuambie mtu wa Mungu kile ambacho Mungu aliweka kwenye moyo wa mtumishi wake kuanzisha madhabahu haya ni kusudi kila mwaka unapokuja unakuja kama shilo unakuja na mizigo yako ya moyoni unakuja kwenye madhabahu unamwambia baba nimechoka na haya nahitaji msaada wako ninaporudi Illinois ninaporudi California ninaporudi katika sehemu ambazo nimetoka baba nisirudi vile nilivyokuja nataka moyo wangu uweze ku, 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 kupewa raha tena kutoka mbinguni katika jina la Yesu sema amen kwa Yesu Kristo maana kule wewe unawalisha hapa unalishwa hapa unapewa nguvu hapa kuna ufunuo unakuja kwako katika jina la Yesu Kristo inua mikono yote miwili juu sema baba katika jina la Yesu ninahitaji upako wako nahitaji uguzo wako nahitaji kutembelewa na wewe katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila mfereji uliyofungika ifunguke katika jina la Yesu Kristo Ikaraba shanta. Oya raba shanta yama. Kila mfereji uliyofungika utafunguka. Ninayo uhakika ndani ya moyo wangu ya kwamba kile ambacho Mungu alikusudia ataitekeleza. Kuna watu mifereji imefungika vyote. Hakuna mfereji analeta maji. Mungu anasema itafunguka. Kaini akalia. 
Nani ajuae kama Kaini alibarikiwa? Nani ajuae kama Kaini alibadilisha maisha yake? Wote tunamchukia. Hakuna mtu anamuita mtoto wake jina Kaini. Ana zote tunajua Kaini mtu mbaya kweli. Mtu ameraaniwa. Uzao wake umeraaniwa. Ukitafuta kwenye concordances na utafuta ma researchers wote wa Biblia, wote wanamhukumu Kaini. Lakini rudi kwenye maandiko utapata Kaini alifungua mifereji. Na kama Kaini alifungua ya kwako itafunguka. Wewe hujaua. Sema amen. Labda umeua kwa hasira na chuki. Sema amen. Kaini akafungua mifereji. Hebu tuangalie katika maandiko. Kaini akazungumza na Mungu. Mazungumzo yao tutaelezana ninapomalizia. Baadaye baada ya kuzungumza na Mungu, hebu angalia katika mstari ule wa Amen. Mstari wa 15 baada ya kaini kuzungumza na Mungu, Mungu akaact. Mungu action ya Mungu, hakuna mtu Mungu anastahili kuconsult. Yeye ni Mungu. Anaweza karani na kabariki baadaye. Anaweza kukufukuza lakini ukibehave vizuri anakurejesha. Maana yeye ni Mungu. Anawahurumia anaopenda kuwahurumia anawabariki anaopenda kuwabariki haijalishi umeenda kiasi gani mbali mno kutoka kwa Mungu lakini jioni ya leo unaweza ukarejea maana yeye ni Mungu wa rehema Mungu wa upendo Mungu wa neema Mungu ambaye anapuliza hewa ya safi ya uzima hey sema amen, amen. baada ya kuzungumza pamoja na Mungu maandiko yanasema katika mstari wa 15 Inasema and the Lord said to him Bwana akazungumza na Kaini hey, na akasema therefore therefore sio kwa Kiswahili hiyo inasema therefore ha huh? kwa hiyo <laughs> baada ya mzungumzo kwa hiyo Mungu amebadilisha mwendo kwa hiyo Yeyote atakaye muua Kaini. Yeyote atakaye mguza Kaini, yani Mungu amewadilika. Sio yule alikuwa anamfukuza, sasa ni yule ambaye anamlinda. Kamwambia yeyote anatangaza ulimwengu mzima, yeyote atakaye muua Kaini. Mimi Mungu mara saba nitamtandika Maana yake ni hii kaini kuanzia leo come behind me whoever wants to get to you must get through me cha mambo yamebadilika mfereji wa uhusiano umerejea ah sema amen mfereji wa uhusiano ume, ume, umefunguka na maji yanaanza kutiririka jameni maji ya Mungu ni maji ya raha maji ya Mungu ni maji yanayobubujika ni maji ambayo yanakusababisha moyo wako uwe na amani utasema kama Daudi napopita kwenye bonda uvuli wa mauti sitaogopa mabaya maana gongo lako na fimbo yako vya nifariji hey sema amen utapita katikati ya shida lakini kwa sababu ya maji yale mfereji wako amefunguka hautakuwa na hofu utapita katikati ya mabaya lakini Mungu ataonekana maishani mwako jina la Bwana libarikiwe wanaofunga vitabu na kufunga chapter ya maisha yako wanasema umekwisha wanasema hakuna matumaini watakuona ukiinuka tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo sema amen kwa Yesu sema haleluya kwa Bwana ana. Anaweza akakutoa katika mdomo wa simba. Amen. Kuna jamaa mmoja hapa hapa Marekani. Mamba yake ilikwisha kabisa. Kwisha. 
akakamatwa nikiwa huku akapelekwa kwenye korokoro ili kusudi arudishwe nyumbani mkenya aliposikia nimo, niko huku akatumana akasema mwambie mchungaji tafadhali muniombe jioni ya leo ilikuwa wednesday muniombe tu mimi maombi tunajua Mungu anaweza wengine wakasema <laughs> kuna yale anaweza <laughs> lakini sio kama hiyo <laughs> eh hii ya immigration ah hiyo ah nika mchungaji mmoja kaniambia ah hata usijali kuomba kuna watu wengi wana shida hapo waombe hawa yule mambo yake utaenda kumuombea Kenya labda Mungu anataka awe mshirika wako <laughs> nikasema basi tutamjaribu Mungu kwa hii kashika jina lake nikaomba kasema baba wewe ni Mungu wa rehema mkumbuke mahali alipo kutana na hoja ya moyo wake anachokiriria kule ndani ukutane nacho he wednesday thursday judge yule alipitiza akaamuru yule jamaa arejeshwe maana kuna new evidence <laughs> the following day haikuchukua muda the following day nikiwa ni ngali hapo nikapigiwa simu nilikuwa kwenye room kaniambia hey, kuna simu imekuja huyu jamaa anarejeshwa kotini kuna new evidence sasa hadujui ni evidence ya kumfunga <laughs> ama evidence ya nini walipofika pale evidence kumbe ilikuwa ni ya kumsaidia akatoka siku hiyo hiyo Thursday alitoka na akafanya kitu ambacho hakuwa anafanya alikuja kanisani straight akashinda kanisani the whole day and the whole night akaambia mchungaji nipe funguo nikimaliza mimi naondoka tunafunga kanisa mchungaji akasema huyu hajawahi kuja maombi hata kesha tuitane hata tulite hata tulete waimbaji wakubwa kutoka Tanzania kutoka Kenya haonekani huyu ana na double shift sijui shift tatu amejishika zote paka wakati mwingine analala kwenye jam analala kwenye robot Alikuwa na juhudi siku moja aliota ali kwamba kuna harusi. <laughs> na kumbe amefika kwenye robot na ame 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 amefanya ame nini? Amelala. Akawa naota harusi. He, he, he. Sasa magari yanakuja yanaingia kwenye harusi. Pepe pe, kumbe ni magari huko nyuma. <laughs> Alipoamka mara moja akakanyanga mafuta alipita kumbe taa zime zimekuwa red alipita kagonga nyingine kule katikati kalazo hospitali jameni Mungu ni Mungu wa ajabu Mungu ni Mungu wa ajabu alisema kaini njoo nyuma yangu hapa tangu leo mimi ndio mi kinga yako halafu Mungu akafanya kitu mchungaji Maandiko nasema aliweka alama kwenye uso wa kaini. Na nikiangalia tabia za Mungu, Mungu hawezi weka alama na wino. Hawezi weka alama na matope. Mungu kazi yake ni damu. Akifanya jambo lolote hata kama ni alama anaweka na damu. Kumbuka wana wa Israeli. Alisema wekeni alama kwenye marango yenu. Maana yule malaika wa mauti anapita. Hapa Mungu alichukua damu ili ikutane na ile damu inayodai maisha huyu kijana. Ipatane ikanso. Sema amen. Ile kijana awekwe huru. Kaini akafunguliwa. Mungu akaweka alama kwenye uso wake ili awekwe huru katika jina la Yesu. Damu ya tirika, damu ya mkombozi, damu ya Yesu inaweza juu ya maisha yako. Hakuna damu yoyote itakayodai chochote juu ya maisha yako. Sema amen kwa Yesu Kristo. Peperusha mkono useme amen. Hey. Akaweka ile damu kwenye uso wake. Na akasema sasa hii ni alama yangu. Maana yake nimemfungua tokana na damu 
inayomdai Kaini akawa sasa yuko sawa cha cha pia Yesu makofi mazuri Kaini akawa sawa Ah Sema amen. amen Kuna mtu ana Biblia ya Kiswahili Biblia hebu soma Somea mstari huo Soma tu kwa sauti Mstari wa 15 Aha. Aha. Mara saba. Akamuua. Aha. Aha. Sasa hapo Mungu ameshatengeneza mambo yake. Ashamponya. Ashamngoa kwenye hukumu. Akamweka kwenye laini ya baraka. Ashafungua ile chemchemi. Mifereji yake sasa inafanya kazi. Tuendelee hapo mbele. Aha. Kaini akatoka mbele za uso wa Bwana. Akakaa katika inchi ya Nodi. Mbele ya Eden. Mbele ya hapo. Sasa kuna jambo la pili ambalo linafanyika hapa. Nataka uangalie. Kaini akatoka mbele za Bwana. Maandiko yako wazi. Ya kwamba kama uwepo wa Bwana ukitoka kwako inasema na uwepo wa Bwana ulitoka. Ama presence of the Lord left him. But wakati Bwana anakurilishi na baraka ni tofauti. Kaini alikuwa released na baraka alitoka mbele za Bwana hebu angalia mazungumzo ya Bwana na jinsi Bwana anavyonena ni maneno ya baraka kwa hiyo kaini akitoka anatoka na baraka unapotoka hapa unatoka na baraka unaporejea mahali umetoka unakwenda na baraka sema amen tangu leo macho yako yataona yale hujaona mbeleni tangu leo utafanya yale hujawahi kufanya katika jina la Yesu Kristo Kaini akatoka Alipotoka mchungaji kilichofuatilia ni kwamba Kaini alienda akakaa Akafanya nini Unaisoma ile roho ya vagabond imeenda wapi? Imetoweka. Roho ya fugitive imetoweka. Mungu amebadilisha story ya Kaini. Akasema Kaini sasa mfereji wangu wa baraka zako zimeanza kuonekana. Sema amen. amen. Akakaa vagabond hakai. Fugitive hakai, lakini huyu akakaa tangu leo utakaa tangu leo watoto wako watakaa tangu leo wajukuu wako watakaa tangu leo kizazi chako kitakaa sema amen roho yoyote ya kuwa, ya kuwahangaisha haitakuepo alipokaa mfereji hmm. wa jamii ikafunguka hebu soma hapo Kaini akafanya nini? Aka akamjua mkewe kumbe alioa. Kumbe jamaa alipata mke. Amen. Na halafu akakaa naye, akamjua mke akafanya nini? Akapata mimba, akazaa, akazaa kijana. Akamuita Enoko. Kaini kuzaa kuwa na mke vagabond itawezekanaje kumbe ni mfereji nafunguka hakuna kitu ambacho hakiwezekani na Mungu hakuna kitu kigumu kwa Mungu jina la Bwana alibarikiwe sana akazaa na akapata mtoto maana yake kizazi chake kikafunguka kilichofungwa kimefunguka na tutafuata hiyo kizazi uone ya kwamba kili, kilikuwa kizazi kimebarikiwa ah sema amen, amen. geuke ya mwenzako mwambie itafunguka leo ah sema amen ya yesu 
itafunguka leo halafu soma tena akajenga mji haikuishia hapo akajenga mji ambia mwenzako alijenga mji <laughs> akaita enoko jina la mwanawe mji sio kama zile za kwetu kule shopping center ya duka tano duka kumi street moja kila mwenye duka unamfahamu kwa jina na zote unakopesha sio hizo mji maana yake infrastructure yake iko sawa maana yake financial stability yake iko sawa maana yake ni mji unaweza kubeba watu El, mamilioni enoko <laughs> mji ukaitwa baada ya enoko mtoto wa kaini maana yake ni hii kazi ya mikono yake kafunguka maisha yake kawa established chochote ambacho alikuwa anafanya sasa Mungu ameweka alama akasema imebarikiwa sema amen Halafu ya pili ni kwamba kile ambacho aliwekeza ilibaki kwenye familia yake. Hakuna mtu alikuja kungengana naye. Aliita na jina ya mtoto wake. Jasho lako halitangenganiwa. Jasho lako halitangenganiwa kotini ama watu kuuana kwa ajili yake. Wewe utabarikiwa na kizazi chako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Sema amen. Naona Mungu kubariki naona Mungu akikuinua naona Mungu akikutendea mema katika maisha yako Sasa tufuate kizazi chake Daka zangu zimeisha Tufuate kizazi chake daka moja hivi Mstari wa 20 nini Mstari wa 20 hebu soma Uh-huh. Ya basi hebu ngoja kwanza. Unaona Irad mmoja wa wajukuu wa Kaini alikuwa ndiye baba ya wote wafugao wanyama na wanakaa kwenye tenti. Nilikuwa najaribu kuangalia katika ulimwengu Afrika. Hakuna nchi isiyo na isiyo kuwa na wafugao wanyama. Tanzania wako wengi. Kenya wako wengi. Sio wamasai peke yao. Halafu cha, cha ajabu ni kwamba Marekani wafuga wanyama na ngombe ni wengi. Amen. Amen. The first ten ambao wako na wanyama na ngombe wamehesabu ngombe nimeangalia kwenye statistics Colorado wana 2.4 million Wisconsin 3.3 million South Dakota 3.6 Iowa 3.8 Missouri 3.8 Oklahoma 4.3 California 5.2 Kansas 5.8 Nebraska 6.15 inayoongoza katika Marekani mzima ya wafugao wanyama ni Texas Texas hii mji nyama choma wako na 10 million 900,000 heads of cattle kwa hiyo Mnaishi katika inchi ya uzao wa kaini <laughs> aliyebarikiwa mifereji yake ikafunguka bwana Yesu asifiwe sana halafu uzao mwingine akazaa jabali mstari wa moja. soma hmm. 
Uh-huh. Jubal. Jubal huyo ndiye baba wapigao wa vinanda na filimbi. Waimbaji. Walitoka kwake. Sema amen. amen. Halafu tubarikeni mstari wa 22 inasema Mhm. Alikuwa ndiye mwalimu anayewafundisha kutoka kwa Kaini. Mifereji yake imefunguka. Mifereji yake imefunguka. Sema amen. Mstari wa 25 ndio ananipendeza zaidi. Mstari wa 25 inasemaje? Ehe. Aha. Hapo inamaanisha hivi. Mfereji imefunguka na restoration ya mtoto aliyeuawa ilirejea. Mungu aka replace. Na kumbe Adam bado alikuepo. Anatazama mzee kikongwe. Anaona vile mambo yanaendelea kumbe Kaini alikwenda katengeneza mambo na Mungu. Halafu akamwambia mke wake, sasa turejeshe yule aliyeenda. Marejeo yatakuepo. Kwa yote ambayo imeharibika marejeo yatakuepo. Sema amen kwa Yesu. Nyosha mkono mmoja juu sema baba. Katika jina la Yesu. Chochote ambacho kimeharibika maishani mwangu. Ninaomba kirejeshwe katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. In Jesus name. Ya mwisho, ya mwisho ndio tuombe sasa. Ya mwisho katika mstari huo huo kuendelea. Hebu endelea hapo. Mstari 25. Mhm. Aha. Enosh. Hapo ndipo watu sasa walianza kuliitia jina la Bwana. Maana yake sasa urejesho revival ilianza tena. Kaini alifanya kitu cha ajabu. Kika affect kila kitu maishani mwao. Ika affect mpaka baba yake. Ika affect mpaka wote ambao walikuepo ambao hawakuweza kumuitia jina la Bwana, walianza kuliitia jina la Bwana. Ninatangaza leo hii mifereji yote ambayo ilifungika juu ya maisha yako inafunguka leo katika jina la Yesu sema amen kwa Yesu na itafunguka vipi swali ni kwamba itafunguka vipi inafunguka kwa nguvu za madhabao tunapoinuliwa madhabao vile ambavyo imenuliwa tunapoalikwa toka kote katika Marekani tuje pamoja kama wa Tanzania kama wa Afrika Tunakuja pamoja ili kwamba mifereji yote iliyofungika ifunguke. Naona maji ya uzima. Naona maji toka kwenye madhabahu. Naona maji toka kwa uwepo wa Mungu ikitiririka na kuingia kwenye manyumba zetu. Ikitiririka ikiingia katika kazi na biashara zetu. Ikitiririka ikiingia katika watoto wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Chochote ambacho shetani tried to do, he is not going to succeed. We are recovering everything that the enemy is trying to spoil in the name of Jesus Christ. Say a big amen to the Lord Jesus. Tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand here today and I declare and decree that every opening that the enemy blocked is going to be opened again in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything in your life that the enemy stood and said you're not going to succeed, I decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit, by the power of the word of God, it's opening in the name of Jesus. It's opening in the name of Jesus. Kayarabo shantayama. Mm. It's opening. Inafunguka. Inafunguka katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Inafunguka jioni leo. Inafunguka jioni leo. Inafunguka jioni leo. Katika jina la Yesu. Oh my goodness. Nisikilize mtu wa Mungu. Nisikilize tunapoenda kuomba. Nisikilize. Kuna mifereji ya aina nne ambazo nimezungumzia. Aina nne ya kwanza mfereji wa karakter 
iliyofungwa ya pili mfereji wa jamii iliyofungwa ya tatu mfereji wa kazi za mikono yako iliyofungwa mfereji wa uhusiano wako na Mungu iliyofungwa hiyo mifereji yote kaini alipoona mambo yameharibika kaini alipoona mifereji imefungwa akajua hapa nisipofanya jambo lazima nitaangamia nisipoinuka kwa ajili ya watoto wangu nisipoinuka kwa ajili ya ukoo na jamii yangu nisipoinuka kwa ajili ya nchi yangu hakuna kitu kitakachoonekana hapa leo hii you are not representing yourself you are representing your generation you are representing your children you are representing your nation you are representing your church you are representing your business you are representing your family i want you to rise on your feet and i want us to pray a prayer like that that came prayed i desire to grow lord i desire to grow lord i desire to grow sikiliza tunapoomba swali ambalo nilijiuliza kaini alifanya nini pale kwenye madhabahu ya kwanza alirealize mistakes zake akarealize sadaka zake hazikuwa zinafurahisha akasema Mungu nisamehe hapo cha pili akarealize moyo wake umetembea ukatoka mbele za Mungu akawa mtu anajitegemea kasema Mungu nitengeneze hapa. Aka realize maisha yake yamefika kikomo. Hakuna jambo linaloweza kufanyika. Mungu nisaidie hapa. Jioni ya leo nataka tuende mbele za Bwana. Na tumwambie Bwana katika jambo lolote lile, katika mifereji yote ambayo imefungika. Baba tusamehe. Tusamehe kwa yote ambayo tumetenda katika jina la Yesu. Nyosha mikono mbele za Bwana tunapoinuka nyosha mikono katika jina la Yesu thank you jesus wajabu wewe wajabu wajabu wewe wajabu mfalme wa wafalme Mwenye enzi tuna kuwa budu Nyosha tu mikono juu Sema baba katika jina la Yesu na jambele zako jinsi nilivyo na kushukuru kwa kunipa nafasi ya kuja kwenye madhabahu yako na kushukuru kwa kunipa nafasi hii ya kusafiri na kuja mpaka hapa ninaomba Mungu unisamehe kwa yote niliyokosa kwa yote ambayo Bwana hayaja kupendeza maisha ni mwangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo anza kuzungumza na Mungu kwa dakika moja katika jina la Yesu Kristo zungumza na Bwana siku hii kabla tujaomba zungumza naye zungumza naye zungumza naye yeka rabashanta inderere boshayama sema na Bwana katika jina la Yesu Sema na Bwana katika jina la Yesu. Ya Rabu shanta yama. Mifereji yote iliyofungika inafunguka leo katika jina la Yesu. Ya Rabu shanta. Endelea kuomba, endelea kuomba sasa katika jina la Yesu. Acha Bwana atukumbuke. Tulivyo kushanyika hapa tuna represent sehemu nyingi sana katika Afrika tuna represent sehemu kubwa
kubwa sana katika Marekani. Tunasema Bwana mifereji yetu ifunguke. Mifereji yetu ifunguke katika jina la Yesu. Watoto wetu wafunguliwe. Mifereji ya kazi na biashara zifunguliwe. Mifereji ya karakta zifunguliwe. Jamii zetu zifunguliwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Omba sasa katika jina la Bwana. Ikarabo shanta ya manderere boshia katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba ninaomba jioni hii jinsi ambavyo umetukusanyisha mahali hapa hakuna kisichowezekana nawe hakuna kisichowezekana nawe hakuna kilicho kigumu kwako Mungu unaweza kutenda unaweza kutenda tenda jioni ya leo katika nchi barekani tenda Bwana hata kule Afrika tenda tenda Bwana wa majeshi katika jina la Yesu Yanto robo shakayama Eketo robo yandere boshia Ikarabo shandere robo gazaya In the mighty name of Jesus Lord I pray tonight Open up all the tunnels Open up oh God Every tunnel oh God Every tunnel oh Jehovah In the name of Jesus Yarabo shakayama Ikerebo yandere boshia e canto robo yandere rebo scendere rebo yara babo shanta yama oh riba shanta yama thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you mighty god thank you king of kings thank you lord of lords to pray according to the leading of the spirit I've spoken in a few minutes and I pray that God will reveal to you to understand what he's trying to do Kila mfereji katika sehemu hizo nne Kila mfereji uliozibwa na shetani na maro ya giza ya kazingira kuhakikisha maisha yako imekuwa suffocated maisha yako isiendelee kwa character kwa jamii kazi za mikono na uhusiano wa mu, na Mungu hiyo ndio mbinu adui anatumia alafu baadaye anainua madhabahu kinyume chako kila mfereji uliozibwa leo tunaposimama hapa 
pamoja na watumishi wa Mungu waandalizi na upako huu ulioko hapa kila mfereji unafunguka napenda zote tuinue mikono tunaposimama tunakwenda kuomba na kumwambia Bwana haukutuleta hapa bure umetuleta hapa ili kusudi tuweze ku experience growth katika kila eneo ya maisha katika jina la Yesu Thank you Jesus Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Mm. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Baba Mungu. Wewe ulie na nguvu zote. Ulie na mamlaka juu ya viumbe vyote. Vionekanavyo visivyoonekana. Wewe ambaye tukilitia jina lako unaitika. Wewe ambaye umetukusanyisha mahali hapa. Wewe ambaye ulizungumza na mtumishi wako kuanzisha madhabahu haya yatakayonena katika maisha ya watu wako. Wewe Jehova mwenye nguvu zote ninaomba siku ya leo. Bwana wa majeshi. Wewe ambaye ni mkamilifu kila mfereji ambayo inastahili kumiminisha maji hata kuleta afya na uzima katika maisha waja wako baba ninaulitia jina lako kila mfereji kafunguke kila kizuizi kiondolewe kila roho ishindwe kila madhabahu inyamazishwe katika jina la Yesu Kristo naomba kila mmoja aliyekuwa hapa jioni ya leo naomba kila mmoja ambaye amesafiri akaja hapa baba sikia kilio chetu sikia kilio chetu baba wanaoteseke kwa sababu ya jamii wanaoteseka kwa kazi za mikono yao wanaoteseka na uhusiano mbele zako baba wanaoteseka mfalme kwa njia moja ama nyingine kwa sababu ya kazi za mikono yao ninaomba jioni ya leo hebu mifereji hii ifunguke hebu maji yaanze kumiminika hebu afya ikaonekane na uzima wako baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo kila madhabahu kila madhabahu iliyo kinyume chao iliyo kinyume chao baba ivunjike 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 katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu oh thank you Jesus thank you mighty god thank you mighty god thank you mighty god thank you mighty god in the name of Jesus kaya rabo shinta yama ikinta raba ba ya nururu boshika thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus. Oh. Sikiliza. Uko hapo kuna 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 mfereji ambayo imefungika. Na unasema mchungaji nataka maombi hayo. Nataka maombi hayo. Songa hapo mbele tu. Dakika moja tu. Unajua saa zangu zimekwisha lakini kwa dakika moja tu. Songea hapa. Kuna mfereji, kuna mfereji na mfereji unaona hapa kuna mfereji meziba kuna mfereji meziba kama kaini aliweza kufungua kaini akafungua kabisa na ikafunguka ya kwako haita haitamlemea Mungu haitamlemea Mungu haukusafiri kuja hapa kote kutoka kila sehemu ambako umetoka hata kama umetoka karibu kwa kutembea kwa mguu haukufika hapa bure kila mfereji nyosha mikono tu thank you jesus thank you jesus inafunguka sasa inafunguka sasa inafunguka sasa inafunguka sasa inafunguka sasa inafunguka sasa 
inafunguka sasa kila mmoja endelea maombi endelea kwa maombi tu endelea kwa maombi katika jina la Yesu inafunguka inafunguka kila mfereji uliyofungika na yamuru sasa kwa mamlaka niliyonayo funguka katika jina la Yesu kila roho inayopigana na maisha yako ninaivzima sasa katika jina la Yesu heka rabo shanta ya mande in the mighty name of Jesus father i pray today let there be a breakthrough from this altar let there be a breakthrough in the name of Jesus in the lives of your children set them free lord may every area of their lives that have been stagnated let every area of their lives that have been experiencing stagnation be set free in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the spirit of God by the power of the risen Christ let it happen today let it happen today let it happen today in the name of Jesus let it happen now in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Jehovah Jehovah touch their lives in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus receive the touch of God in the name of Jesus let it happen today kill him for rage will you forget if on the case if on the case come on your hood come on your be a shara come on your jamie he will be your tail about if on the case as a can you catch in a yes in the mighty name of Jesus 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 okay rabo shanta in the name of Jesus 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 touch their lives do a new thing my father in the name of Jesus let it open let it open let it open let it open in the name of Jesus kaya masaka eketo robo yanda in the name of Jesus 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 spirit of the living God do a new thing tonight in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus father I pray tonight may every opening that has been blocked of the enemy begin to open today let there be growth in the lives of your children growth almighty God the uncompromising growth in every area in the name of Jesus growth in their lives growth in their businesses growth oh God almighty in every sector of their lives in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh thank you Lord thank you Jesus let the anointing of God touch every life today every area of your life as you come from this convention as you come from this conference as you go to different states even as you go back to Africa or wherever you came from I decree and declare that this altar was raised for this purpose that your life may experience growth in the name of Jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Listen to me. Your moment of miracles has just begun. The Lord has just begun. I want you to do something tonight. I want you to do something tonight. Something you have never done before. A unique action of faith. Get a seed offering. Cain changed his story. When I did every research, I discovered that Cain said to God, I know where our problem began. 
And our problem began with my attitude. It evolved into my giving. And we differed there and my brother overtook me. And that's how I killed him. I want us to settle the issue of our giving to him. By releasing a seed such as you have never had before. America will obey your voice. Amen. Amen. Say amen. This is an opportunity on this altar. Release a seed. Give me envelopes. Just some envelopes, please. I don't know. Am I, is it all right, President? All right, okay. You know, I, I didn't ask him about this, but I'm just obeying the spirit. I'm just obeying the spirit. Give me envelopes. I want to pray for them. There are some of you that are standing here for your destinies. Standing here for your destinies. Things are going to change in your lives. Father, I pray, let this sacrifice that your children are laying on the altar speak volumes. Lord, this is where it all begins. I ask that, Lord, you begin with them. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. I want you to believe God for a real sacrifice. Amen. A real sacrifice of any amount that the Lord will put in your heart. And I want to begin with those that will have a hundred dollars and above. Get this envelope. change the story. Why not you? You can change your story. receive it. If you're writing a check, you write what do they write on the check? NTM. NTM. If you're writing a check, write NTM. I want to receive it. Just bring it in the name of Jesus. I want to receive it. Then I hand over the microphone. Victory belongs to 
Amen. I'm made to understand there are those that don't have checks, but you want to do um, what do you cash cash up. Uh, in Kenya we call it M Pesa. Cash up. Uh, you have the number. You go, you go to the back there and see our sister. Then you do it now. You know, you move, you move with the waters when they are stirred up. Amen. Praise the Lord. And listen, God can speak to you on anything. He can speak to you on any figure. On any figure. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is moving in a very powerful way. God can speak to you to give even equivalent of a million Kenya shillings. That's ten thousand dollars. Slightly before I came, we are starting to build in Kenya a very simple sister that I prayed for. God spoke to her, and she called me, "Please, I want to sow a seed." She ran. She said, "Even if you're in the airport, I will have to see you." Very simple. She said, I've been saving and I'm giving one million in cash towards the work of God. That's back in Kenya. God can speak to you to lift up this platform. Praise God. This platform, tell your neighbor, this platform is a powerful platform. And I thank God for the man of God, for obeying the voice of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Let's stand with him. Let us stand with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the vision. It's going to bless our lives tremendously. In Jesus' name. If you, if you want to pay by uh, cash up, please go back there. Just now, just just go now and see that sister, and you'll be able to do it. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father Lord, I pray. Kilam Fereji. Ambayo mefungua sasa. Baba Acha kushuhuda uanze kuonekana ya yale ambayo unatenda maisha ni mwetu na kushukuru na lihimidi jina lako ubarikiwe yesu kuinuliwe yesu asante mfalme hata kwa sababu ya mwaliko huu naomba baraka zako katika jina la yesu kristo bwana wetu amen Tupige makofu mengine ya nguvu kabisa. Haleluya, haleluya. 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 Eh tusimama ame tusimama matumisho Mungu. Tusimama wote kwa pamoja. Haleluya. Tukimpigia makofi makofi Bwana Yesu, makofi, 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 makofi. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. Najua kama ulikuwa mahali hapa ume switch vizuri antena zako umetega vizuri umesikiliza basi sina la kuongeza mimi sisemi jambo lolote kabisa nalo usiana neno au kile ambacho bwana amefanya mahali hapa haleluya kila mmoja amepata mfereji wake amejua mfereji mifereji na Mungu ni mwema anafanya kazi tuamini hivyo amefanya haleluya Uh, siku ya kesho tutakuwa mahali hapa na watumishi wa Mungu tumepewa uh, kipimo kidogo tu cha uaminifu tunapokuwa mahali hapa kitatusaidia sana ni swala muda tukiwa waaminifu katika muda hebu fikiri kama tungetumia muda wote dakika zote ambazo tumezipanga katika ratiba hii kwa watumishi wa Mungu hawa kuna mambo fulani fulani bidi wayabinye binye niko na kuangalia kina mtumishi Dennis mimi mtumishi uh, uh, Joshua na hali kadhalika mtumishi wa Mungu pia hapa imbidi kubinya binya ya muda mambo fulani fulani ambayo inabidi pengine kwa sababu ya muda tuandikiane vile vinoti tuambiane jamani kama tunaweza tukafuata ratiba hii bwana ataturumia zaidi 
ametuhudumia na atatuhudumia zaidi kwa hiyo uh, naomba tukitoka mahali hapa na kushauri tu ukalale <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana <laughs> ukalale <laughs> ni satano usiku <laughs> ukalale ni satano usiku ukalale kwa sababu usipolala sasa hivi wakati tunakuja hapa utataka kwenda kulala sasa ukienda kulala tena ukija kuamka yani itakuwa ni vurugu fulani hivi ambayo uh, hatukwenda sawa sawa na kushauri tu kama mdogo wako kama mtumishi wa Mungu kalale baada kutoka mahali hapa na <laughs> amen <laughs> e, e, tunaje tunapenda hatujaona muda mrefu tunataka kuwa na pale kwenye makorido tuonge kesho kuna kipindi fulani maalum sana jioni kimewekwa kwenye ratiba sasa kama umekiona cha watumishi connect kuongea tu tutaongea kabisa Naomba mchungaji Fred Mwetuka tafadhali nikombe kwa heshima kubwa uje mahali hapa utufanyie benediction e, tukalale Mwambie jirani yako ukalale Na ukutana kwenye kuru nataka kuongea mwambie ukalale Eh amina <laughs> Naomba umshike mkono jirani yako Tufumbe macho Baba katika jina la Yesu Asante kwa ajili ya neno lako la uzima ambalo limekuja kwetu kwa ajili ya uponyaji kwa ajili ya ukombozi Asante Bwana kwa ajili ya kila mmoja ambaye amesikia neno Nami ninakuja kinyume na adui ambaye anataka kuiba lile neno lilopandwa ndani yetu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo neno likapate nafasi mioyoni mwetu na likaote na kutenda kazi ambayo Bwana umelituma kwalo maana umesema neno lako Bwana hulituma nalo linaenda na halitakurudia wewe bure litatimiliza kila kusudi ambalo Bwana umelikusudia nasi Bwana tumepokea E Bwana utupe nguvu kulitendea kazi. Ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana na mokozi wetu. Watoto wa Mungu na tuseme Amen. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Wakati tunatoka uh, kuna tangazo na nitoe mahali hapa. Kuna mama yetu hapa alikuwa na simu yake nzuri.